A new Stream Zero release is out, and as usually, we prepared for you a short video going through the main changes. Zero 35 was mainly a maintenance release, where we focused a lot of different refactorings and on the technical depth. It has over 130 PRs from over 20 different contributors. This release supports Kubernetes 1.19 and newer, and the last version available during the release, and also the last version with which we tested this release, is Kubernetes 1.27. The supported Kafka versions remain unchanged, that means that this release supports Kafka 3.4.0, 3.3.2, and 3.3.1. Streams 0.35 is the last minor release where we support Kubernetes 1.19 and 1.20. From Streams 036, we will only support Kubernetes 1.21 and newer. The main change in this release is the graduation of the used Streams pod sets feature gate. Support for stateful sets has been removed, and Streams pod sets will now be always used to manage the pods. If you are still using stateful set, migration will happen automatically during upgrade. We also removed the support for the JMX trans as we announced in the Streams 033 release when we deprecated it. JMX Trans doesn't seem to be maintained anymore, does not support new Java versions, and contains many old, unupdated dependencies. If you have JMX Trans enabled in your deployments, it will be automatically deleted after upgrading to Streams 035. There are also many improvements to the Helm charts. For example, you can now install the Grafana dashboards, which Streamsy provides directly from the Helm chart, or you can specify multiple image pool secrets when installing the Helm chart. There are also many smaller improvements, and of course, also various bug fixes. There are also many updates to the dependencies, which should help to address some CVEs or another bugs. That's it for this release. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter and star us on GitHub.